The one dollar color is purple. All right, let's head over here to the hard goods and see what goodies we can find. Let's see, there's, I don't tend to pick those up. Lots of hand sanitizer. <gasps> How long was I looking for a marble rolling pin? <gasps> They're bringing out a whole nother cart. Oh boy. Goodwill and I am going in to see what kind of treasures I can find to resell because that's what I do. I'm a reseller. Been a reseller for a few decades now and uh, I don't know the Goodwills around here they just have really good stuff. So it is one dollar Monday as I go in and film this. That means anything with the previous week's color is just one dollar. So let's go see what we can find. Let's get shop done. All right, in the door. And the first thing we need to do is find us a lucky cart. Let's see, which one will it be? I think it's, that's a little cart over there. Hmm, let's go with a bigger cart. This one it is. All right, away we go. The $1 color is purple. All right head over here to the hard goods and see what goodies we can find. Ooh, it looks like they just brought a couple of carts out. Let's check that first. See what these mugs are. Pretty blue art glass mugs for 99 cents each. Well, that's kind of a no-brainer. Let's grab those. The butter dish did catch my eye. It is a new modern one. 10 Strawberry Street. Bliss Butter. That's kind of a, just a nice standard butter dish though. I wonder, can you paint something that's already been glazed? Or can you only paint like the raw material? Because, you know, Rachel could paint something really awesome on this butter dish. And speaking of Rachel, what is this? I see a horse, a funny horse from Colorado. It's a little nodderhead horse. Okay, he's really not that great. Sorry, you're just not, you're just not. But I think I'm gonna get the butter dish for $2.99. I see another piece of art pottery back here. Look how pretty this is with butterflies on it. Signed, is that a JM for $3.99? No damage? Grabbing that too. Let's see, there's, I don't tend to pick those up. Lots of hand sanitizer. <gasps> how long was I looking for a marble rolling pin. I had forgotten. I mean, I think I sold the thing that I was going to put a marble rolling pin in, but for $5.99, I am going to pick up this beautiful, magnificent, made in Taiwan rolling pin. It's a little, little fishy guy. Oh, he's a magnet. He's a magnet. Cute little bell who makes you designer's collection. I don't tend to pick up bells. They just don't do real well for me. Some little souvenir wooden plates. London Tower Bridge. More little souvenir plates. Don't need those. I see like a big giant flip-flop in here. What is this big giant flip-flop container? What is this? Just a container. TS Industry. That's... That's pretty funny, actually. I mean, I'm not going to get it, but that's just pretty funny. Oh, is that? Oh, I thought it was Scooby-Doo for a minute. It is not Scooby-Doo. It is not Scooby-Doo. And, okay. Don't see anything else down in this cart, but there is another cart that we're going to go check out, too. Nope. Okay, let's go check out the other cart. Oh my gosh, is that a big giant peep? It is. It is. Oh my gosh. Jordan, Jordan, look what I just got. And he's bougie blue. How much is he? $4.99? Yes. 
Yes, we will put him in the cart. It's an interesting little rabbit, but you can see he was a little a little cheapy rabbit and you can feel it his quality is just really not there because sometimes even the you know if it came from a lower quality store but it's a good quality item it's okay you can still get it and make money on it but not not if it's cheap and cheap this is a really beautiful plaque with the corinthians is it corinthians 13 wow why can't i even remember that that's horrible uh, love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, always hopes, always perseveres, always protects, always trusts, love never fails. Beautiful, mo my most favorite scripture, and you'd think I could actually remember what the scripture is. It's Corinthians, I know that. I just can't remember the numbers. Numbers are not my friend. Let's see. All right, these, these have already been emptied out onto the shelves, so let's go hunt down what new things are out there. Veering off course because I see a Starbucks mug from Hong Kong. It is $5.99 though. Now these Hong, uh, these Hong Kong, these Starbucks mugs are not bringing the big bucks like they used to. You gotta look up each one. Cause some are okay, some not so much, so. I'm gonna leave that one. I don't get a good feelsy, and it had a lot of staining in it, so. Wow, there's not much on this shelf. Look at that beautiful Paris dish. $5.99. Okay, I kinda like it, I kinda like it. I don't know that I like it for $5.99, not this time. I sold a whole bunch of koalas the other night on my whatnot sale. Was pretty happy with how those went. I have upped my game on the whatnot. I am now doing a, of course, I'm doing my Monday shop the shelves of the good stuff sale. And then I am doing a Wednesday sale that's usually purses, jewelry, something not the same as my other sales. And then I've moved my YouTube live sales over to Whatnot. So what that means is at 1 p.m. Pacific time on Whatnot, I will be doing a live sale over there and I will be putting up a regular thrifting video on Fridays now. So if you weren't used to seeing those videos on Fridays, they will be there. I see something pretty back here. Look at the dichroic glass that is fused into this dish. I'm trying to see this edge. Okay, that is a finished edge. Well, is it a finished edge? Yeah, I think it is. I don't know, I think this is like, um, could be like a student piece, but it's only $1.99 and it's absolutely gorgeous. So I'll grab that too. Let's see, these are not studio pottery. Those are a maker. I don't know what maker they are because it's worn off. But, uh, let's see, got dolls down here. The shoes on this doll are kind of drawing me. Cute little shoes on that doll. These are all pretty, pretty modern dolls though, as far as my perspective on doll collecting, only because I am a collector of the antique bisque dolls, uh, porcelain dolls. So I have a lot of trouble with the newer contemporary dolls, even though they're vintage, even though they can be worth some money, I just can't bring myself to it. These little lemon dishes are really cute. Look at those. Right. What is this little Bunnyville here? Lots of little Bunnyville stuff. Oh, I guess it is this eight piece set hop along hollow little club thing. Easter just passed, so not gonna pick up the Easter stuff. We'll keep looking. Oh, what's that dragon? What are you? Dragon. Dragons are hot. People love dragons. They don't have a name. It is a candle holder. It's very resin. It's 10 bucks. I think I'll leave that one. Let's see. We've got some big old fake pomegranate and apple, like over large sized pieces. Kind of fun. $7.99. Not tempted at that price. <gasps> Give me a K. 
Oh, give me some seashells on a stick. <laughs> I don't know why that has black there. The black on there just messes it up for me. Because these should look fairly, they're resin, but there's no big black blotch on these Nautilus shells. And this one, you know, it's a, it's a pretty, it's a pretty shell. I just, you know what? I'm not, I'm not into it. I'm not into it for 10 bucks. I can leave it. Let's see what else we got. That's kind of a cute, primitive little love heart, little bird on it. I do like it. It's like a Hobby Lobby piece, so yep, there it is, Hobby Lobby. Sign, signs everywhere, sign. Oh, I have sold these before. They are quite popular. They are also Hobby Lobby pieces. Now they would have been, if you know Hobby Lobby pricing, what they do, actually this is Ashland, so not Hobby Lobby. I was fooled, same, same quality. So I don't know if Ashland does it, but if it was at Hobby Lobby, it would at some point be half price. So $5.99, that's, that's a pretty decent price on these. There's a gray one and there's a white one. And I think people really, really love this kind of decor. So I'm gonna pick those up. Gotta have faith. Got a happy cow basket. Oh, we got a whole bunch of little wood dreidels. You can even uh, get instructions. This is made in Taiwan. Those are, those are vintage dreidels. $5. I don't know if there's a market for vintage dreidels. I will leave those for somebody else that knows more of that market than I. Let's check out the metal section. See what goodies. You can't buy happiness, but you can marry a lawyer, and that's kind of the same thing. Hmm, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I mean, yeah, it wouldn't it wouldn't be bad to, you know, have a lawyer as part of the family. No, oh, that wouldn't be a bad thing at all. <laughs> No. Or let's turn it into something positive and say, on. <laughs> much better message. Much better message. Oh my goodness, who are these happy little guys? They are. What are you? They come in these little containers and people have been taking them all apart. Why? There's something from Zappos finance. I don't understand. I don't understand them at all, but I wish people would not destroy things. And then we have a zebra. Oh, it's kind of pretty. He came from Ross. He's a decorative piece. $9.99. Hmm. He's probably, oh, he's a little chippy. If he wasn't chippy, he'd be 25 to 30 on resale value, but with the chips, maybe, you know, 20 to 25. So we can't pay 10 for him. A cinnamon broom from Trader Joe's. That's interesting. What is that? And what is its purpose in life? $3.99. What would you do with that? What would you hold in there? It's kind of interesting. Aw, cute little bunny. That's interesting. Got a layer of greenness. Looks vintage. Hmm. It's very, very cloudy. And I don't think it's high enough value to put the work into it to get the cloudiness out. So I'll leave that for somebody else. It's a very cheap feeling piece of glass. <gasps> They're bringing out a whole nother cart. Oh boy. I am the first one over to this cart to see what goodies are on here. Ooh, I see a bird that I must get. Look at that. That is a, like a, it's not cloisonne. 
I think he's painted, but he's metal, brass, and he has, like, he opens up. He's like a trinket box. We're going to grab him for $4.99. Let's see. <laughs> yep, you brought it out. <laughs> I was on it. <laughs> That's got a lot of damage, unfortunately. Otherwise, that'd have been a really, really pretty tin. Oh, what are you guys? We've got these are these are on the floor. Uh, good thing they're metal, huh? Now these came from Hobby Lobby. So is it five ninety nine for the pair? No, it's five ninety nine and three ninety nine. So these would hang on the wall, like outside really cool decor that I am going to put in the cart. Thankfully, it's still in good shape. Did I give you guys a heart attack? I gave myself a heart attack there for a minute. It happens sometimes. It happens. Oh, there's like a little bony finger, a pointing bony finger. <laughs> Why do I like that? Oh my gosh. I like the little pointing bony finger. Look here, right here. <laughs> oh, goodness. We don't need a pointing bony finger, though. Postage stamp. Oh, they're like postage stamp, like cardstock cutouts. That's fun. And I think, I think that's it. Oh, dice. Wait, dice, dice. Oh, my gosh, a big, humongous thing of dice. From Harrah's, from Harrah's Las Vegas. Harrah's dice for $3.99. We will grab that. I just got up and I noticed these have little musical notes glued on them. How cute is that? Probably was like a centerpiece somewhere. Okay, I'm taking one last peek. Make sure I didn't miss anything that I might need. All right, I think I think we're safe. Coming back over here to this one last shelf of vases. Frosted little crackle glass. It's kind of cool. This basket down here is pretty colorful. It's got a wood base. It's very like the beads are really cheap. And just, I don't like the uh, quality of it. I like the colors, but I don't like the quality. All right, let's look through some glasses. Ooh, those have a nice sparkle to them. They seem to be really nice quality. They are, they are Waterford for $3.99 each. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Why does there have to be nine? That's okay. We're going to grab them. Now I will look just a little harder and see if there was any other Waterford that uh, snuck out here. That's another really pretty elegant glass pattern. I don't know the pattern right off the bat. Um, really nice. I don't really need a whole lot of glassware. The Waterfords are probably all I want to deal with shipping here in the near future. But if I come back and those are still here, I would definitely be tempted in picking those up as well. You know, I love the, my little cactus glasses, but the value has gone down a little bit because more and more of them are out there. But I do love me a Grey Goose vodka glass for $2.99. We will grab that one. We will see anything else here i see something else i want to look closer so we're going to put our little gray goose in there i know i got the glass all stacked in there these are etched really heavy etch bow de serre france lead crystal for 2.99 each you know what Ooh. we're gonna pick up four of those oh boy it's a glassware kind of night that one is chipped. These are really cool though. Again, I've been talking about doing my little projects. I wonder if I could sand out that one little flea bite on that one. 
These are $3 each. Ah, oh, tempting, tempting, because I really, really like the glasses. I might think about those. I'm not going to put those in the cart right now. Those would be great for the little project assemblages that I have been gathering up all of the goodies that I'm going to use to make them. Oh goodness, more pretty glasses. Oh, these are so dainty. So thin and dainty with that beautiful etch. I just, I just don't want to ship those right now. I could ship those right now. I just don't want to deal with that right now. I know, I know. These are the decisions that you have to make sometimes. This is by Century. I was looking to see if that was one of the well-known pottery names. Like the Deneen pottery, the D-E-N-E-E-N. -E -E pick those up. No matter what's on them, pick them up. Those are good sellers. Little obscure places can be on them. They were used a lot for advertising, but they sell. It's amazing. There are people that collect them. Cup of love. Look at the cute little cup of love. And I know there's some pretty common Starbucks up here. I don't pick those up. Whenever you start to feel bad, remember you feel great to me. <laughs> ah, the yellow dishes are still here. Apparently nobody is loving the yellow dishes. Ooh, fish dishes though. I'm a sucker for fish dishes. Let's see who makes you. You are William Sonoma. That is a really, really good brand in dishes. And it would be like basically like $2 each on these. And they're pretty fantastic. So for $7.99, we will grab that set of four. All right, I guess I got dishes. Big old grape teapot feels like a hobbyist piece but it's just a cheaply made piece actually hmm oh bird plates don't show me bird plates who makes you oh they're lennox too lennox summer greetings goldfinch uh 7.99 oh my gosh there's two stacks of them okay i'm gonna look these up Okay, so they would sell for about 10 to $12 a plate. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, that's like 60 bucks worth of plates. But I know I will personally not get to these. So if you're a reseller in the area, these are definitely a good buy. I just can't take on any plates right now. Oh, look at this adorable little set. Made in Japan, $3.99 on the teapot. And then there's little cups. Oh, why do they have these $2.99 each? See, that kills it for me. I cannot pay $2.99 each. I mean, that would be 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 18, 22 dollars, you know, to have a little set. As much as I love, I love this teapot. Should I, and so, okay, I wrestle, because do I separate the teapot from the cups? Because that just seems so awful to me, but I don't know. I love, is anybody going to pay that? I don't think anybody's going to do it, right? So I would be okay picking up the teapot, right? No guilt? I can get the teapot? I really want the teapot. I'm grabbing the little creamer too for $2.99. Okay, sometimes you just, you just gotta do things. That's a Knowles. Very, very scratched up. Oh! <gasps> What are you? Oh my goodness, William Sonoma mushroom bowls. Five bucks each. And then there's two plates for two ninety nine. Oh my gosh, there's more bowls back there. <gasps> How many bowls are we getting? Oh my gosh, there's four, a seven. Oh my gosh. You know, I swear the universe just messes with me. Gazbra, I just ex explain not picking those up because of dealing with them and then i'm presented with these but oh these are so fantastic i feel like jordan would really love these too so i can't i can't leave the mushrooms behind okay let's get out of that section because that section is just it's gonna kill me tonight oh that's like a vintage lid 
Le Creuset. Look at that. $2.99. I am. I am going to pick up just the Le Creuset lid. I'm going to do it. Let's see if the Le Creuset pan here somewhere. I have sold several of these over the years, but they're asking 25 That's about what I think I get for them. Let's look through here. Nothing, 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 nothing. That looks old and vintagey and all of that too. It's, oh my gosh, it's heavy. Who makes you? You are made in Taiwan. Um, Den no, I'm sorry, Denmark. I see Denmark. Goodness. I can't tell what the name of that is. Copco. It's Copco. Now, I don't know what the price is because somebody has already peeled the sticker. I don't know if it's single digit, double digit. That's in really, really good shape. I think I'm going to grab this and find out how much it is when I get up to the counter. Okay, this shopping trip is going against everything I come in to find. I really don't want to find cookware plates and stuff, but sometimes, you know, if that's what you find, that's what you find. Ooh, that's, uh, that's seen some better days on that one. Here is a little tin bird cup. Nothing too spectacular. Little thing with plates. This looks hand painted. Little acorns. Oh, it's Rosenthal. Rosenthal Donatello. Let's look at you a little closer. What kind of shape are you in? I think you're in pretty good shape. Yeah, you are hand painted for $3.99. All right, we'll grab that. And let's see, are those melamine? No, those are not even melamine. Those are like heavy duty platters. Heavy duty. Ooh, you're pretty. What are you? You've got a look. You are Wedgwood, Potpourri Wedgwood, Williamsburg. So it's $3.99 for three little Wedgwood plates. I think we will go ahead and grab those. So I think what I've decided to do, you've heard me talk about it. We're doing a viewer appreciation day on the first Saturday of the month. This coming month will be May 6th. And I think I am gonna do 50% off anything on my stage. And we're doing like dollar blowout clothing sale. Like all the clothing on the rack. This is melamine. All the clothing, $1 each, and we're just gonna have a blowout. But the, here's the trick. You must have heard about it here on my YouTube channel or on Tiffany Thrifting Vegas YouTube channel or on Picker Road's YouTube channel because it is a viewer appreciation day. So you would need to know that my stage is 50% off and I'm sure that Tiffany's gonna do her own little special deal in her room as well. So just keep that in mind if you're in Vegas or can get to Vegas the first Saturday of the month, it's gonna be your day to come shop at the Good Stuff Thrift Store. And I'm also gonna do some pop-up whatnot sales that day. So if you can't get to Vegas, you're still gonna get opportunity to shop. I also announced today in my Monday Live that I will be doing some teaching of whatnot for those that just aren't too sure about whatnot, how to get started on whatnot, what you need to get started on whatnot. Let's talk about it together, get over your fears, all that stuff. I'm gonna be doing that as a perk in my Niche Nation membership, which is just $2 a month, just $2. And uh, we will talk about all things whatnot next week. Llama lineup, the laugh out loud matching game. Okay. And we already kind of broke into that. Crafter's companion. Bathroom stuff over here. Yeah, nothing that we need. All right, pet section. Oh, remember I bought one of these for Priscilla. It worked so perfectly, perfectly, perfectly. I wish there was like a little bit bigger size for my bigger tortoises. 
take a peek in the lamps. These are kind of cute. Look at they look like uh, they look like um, old street lights. Twelve ninety nine. I really like those, but I don't need them. I don't need them. They're super cute though. They're very cheap plastic. That's what's getting me. They're plastic, so they're not real high quality or anything. And I don't see anything else here in the lamps I can't live without. To those who were asking, my little tortoise that was sick is all better. She's doing fabulous. And there will be footage over on my Niche Lady Critter Cam channel. So make sure you're subscribed over there. I'll put a link down in the very first comment of this video, also in the description of every video. And that is where you're going to see all of my critters. I'm still going to put little bits and pieces over here, but I do much longer critter videos over there. Uh, we just got started, and there's actually, if you want to see Rachel, right now there is a video of Rachel over there feeding a giraffe. So she actually let me film that and put it up on that channel for some reason. Oh, she's bringing out more good ones here. Those are kind of cool. Look at that. Nice. These were go-backs. First Light from an original watercolor by John Yato. Cabrillo Old Point Loma Lighthouse. It is a print. They are prints. This one is Sunset at the Beach. It doesn't say what beach. Kind of nice, kind of nice. But I'm going to leave those. They are nice, though. Um, the employees here, like, they know to bring stuff over and show me. <laughs> it's awesome. I love it. Buttons, buttons. Nice. I like the frame on that, but it's got some dings. Um, so also, not only is that little tortoise doing great, but all tortoises are out and accounted for and made it through another winter. It's been a rough winter. To those of you who have a tortoise that may not have made it this year, oh my, just got to tell you, you're not alone. There's, It's been a really, really tough season for tortoises coming out of their brumation. So, <sighs> I was super relieved to find all of mine out. There are some shelves over here catching my eye. They are $25. Those are, they're kind of awesome. I have no place, no place to put anything like that. And I'm still waiting to hear if my offer has been accepted on the house that I put an offer on. So again, everybody, please keep your prayers and good thoughts going because uh, this would be a dream come true to be able to move into a home that I can stay in forever if I want to. Let's see if the linens are calling with anything. Yeah, there's nothing. I mean, I can pretty much see what's here from the end of the row and there's just not a whole lot. There's just not a whole lot right now. Any pillows? Nope, nothing there either. This is so crazy. I remember having this toy when Rachel was a baby. Oh my gosh. This one doesn't, it needs batteries. It's not working, but all these little flowers light up and see, oh, it does work. Look, it does still work. Oh my gosh, that brings back such memories. Oh my gosh. Wow, $4.99. Well, let's see if there's anything up here in the toys. Yep, yeah, a slingshot. Mm. Oh, what are you? Poor little guy. You look like you like got band-aids all over you. Do you? No, you're just spotted. Oh, what is going on with this cat? Who are you? We don't know. But he's really, really dirty. There's a little koala. And a Mickey Mouse that also has seen better days. All right, let's take a peek through the purses. I will be doing another What Not purse sale this week. We actually sold this very same purse, but in blue last week. 
That is so funny. It's like a PVC purse and it locks up and the key is usually attached on the inside. I don't know if it is on this one. Nope, there's the key. The key's hiding right in there. Oh, this one is actually new with tag. It's $12.99 though. I don't think we I don't think we got enough to warrant paying $12.99 for another one. This is a new with tags Jessica Simpson. Also $12.99. I don't know, I just can't I just can't really pay $12.99 for them. I'm better off finding them at like yard sales and such um, for just a couple bucks. That's an interesting purse. Look at that. $12.99. It's like the go-to price. It's very cool though. That one's got an interesting look to it. Let's see. Yeah. I don't see anything that uh it's going to be in the price range we need it to be for the sale. But that's going to happen Wednesday at 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Pacific time. So that's 4 p.m. Eastern time. And we're going to do some jewelry. We're going to do some purses. I will be there with my friends from Picker Road who are going to contribute some things as well. It's a Rosetti. It's kind of cute. That one's also $12.99. Maybe I just have to shop the purses on uh, Senior Wednesday when it's 40% off. I don't see anything I can pick up today. Well, I think I'm going to take my cart full of glass and head out. Oh my gosh, I, I really hope they have newspaper and boxes. Uh, but stay tuned for a recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. And if you see anything that you would like to purchase, you can just reach out to me through email. It's all down in the description. Uh, there's just some information I need. That's all down there, all the instructions you need. And I am happy to sell things because that's what I do. I'm a reseller. All right, stay tuned for that recap coming up now.
glassware and dishes than I have purchased in a very long time. It went against everything I, I normally do when I'm out shopping, but they were spectacular pieces, so how could I say no? That's my problem sometimes, I just can't say no. But Waterford, Williams Sonoma, those are fantastic brands to be on the lookout for. Now, many of the items I purchased will be in an upcoming Whatnot sale, so make sure you are following, following me over on Whatnot. And if you've never signed up for Whatnot, right down there in that first comment is a link that will get you $15 to come and spend over on Whatnot, just to come and check it out, see if you like it. And again, if you're thinking of becoming a seller on Whatnot, review my Monday live show that I, that I just did and see what you think about what I have to say about it. And I will have an upcoming class on how to get started on Whatnot. And I am absolutely here to support you just as I've always done for those who wanna get started on eBay and other marketplaces. I just think Whatnot is the place where us resellers have to be. In this day and age. All right, with that, I'm heading home. You go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.